Welcome to the spoken tutorial on command line arguments and quoting in Bash. In this tutorial, we will learn about command line arguments and quoting. To follow this tutorial, you should be familiar with Linux operating system. If not, for relevant tutorials, please visit our website which is as shown. For this tutorial, I am using Ubuntu Linux 12.04 operating system, GNU Bash version 4.1.10. GNU Bash version 4 or above is recommended for practice. Shell script can accept arguments from command line. An argument is passed to a program being called. Any number of arguments can be passed to a program. Let us open the terminal by pressing Ctrl, Alt and T keys simultaneously on your keyboard. I have already written the code in the file named arg.sh. On the terminal, let me open this file by typing gedit space arg.sh space ampersand sign. We use the ampersand to free up the prompt. Now press enter. The text editor is open. Let me explain the code now. This is the shebang line. This line will print the zeroth argument. Here dollar zero will print the name of the shell script. This in turn means that the zeroth argument is the name of the program itself. Let us execute the program and see. Switch to the terminal. First, make the file executable by typing chmod space plus x space arg dot sh. Press enter. Now type dot slash arg dot sh. Press enter. The output is displayed as zeroth argument is arg.sh. Now come back to our editor and type the three lines as shown here. $1 represents the first argument passed to the program from the command line. $2 represents the second argument passed to the program and $3 represents the third argument. Now click on save. Let us execute the program and see Press the up arrow key. Press enter. We see that the zeroth argument is printed but the first, second and third arguments are blank. This is because the command line arguments are given during execution. Hence, press the up arrow key and type Sunday, Monday and Tuesday. Press enter. You can see that the first, second and third arguments are Sunday, Monday and Tuesday. Now switch back to our editor. Press enter. Now type the line as shown here. $12 represents the twelfth argument. To write an argument greater than 9, we need to use curly brackets. Else, Bash will only take the argument of the integer in the tens place. And you will not get expected output. Now click on save. Let us execute the program. Switch to the terminal. Let me clear the prompt. Now we need to give 12 or 13 arguments to the program. Hence type dot slash r dot sh space 1 to 13. Now press enter. You can see that the 12th argument is 12. Come back to our editor and type the line as shown here. Dollar hash gives the total number of arguments that have been passed to a program. Now click on save. Let us execute. Switch to the terminal. Let us execute, press the up arrow key and press enter. We can see that the total arguments are 13. Now switch to the editor 
press enter and type the lines as shown here. Dollar asterisk will print all the arguments on a single line. We will test this with the help of a simple for loop. We will analyze this for loop at the time of execution. Now click on save. Switch to the terminal. Let me clear the prompt. Now let us type dot slash r dot sh space Sunday, Monday and Tuesday. Press enter. You can see that the total number of arguments are 3 as we have passed 3 arguments to our program. As already said, dollar asterisk will print all the arguments on a single line. And this is the output for the for loop. We see that all the arguments are printed on the single line. Now move back to our program and type the lines as shown here. Dollar add will also print all the arguments. However, this time each argument will be printed on separate line. This is another for loop which will print each argument in a separate line. Let us see how. Click on save. Switch to the terminal. Press the up arrow key. Press enter. You can see the difference now. These are the arguments printed by dollar add. Dollar add prints each argument on separate line. This is the output for the second for loop. Now let's move on to coding in bash. Switch to the slides. There are three types of codes. Double code, single code and backslash. Double codes substitutes the value of variables and commands. Example, echo username is dollar user. It displays the username of the system. Switch to the terminal. Let me clear the prompt. Now type echo space within double quotes username is dollar user in capital. Press enter. The username of the system is printed. The output will vary according to your system. Now move back to slides. Single quotes preserves the literal meaning of each character of a given string. It is used to turn off special meaning of all characters. Switch to the terminal. Type echo space within single quote username is dollar user in capital. Press enter. The output is username is dollar user. In this example, it prints all the characters which appear within the single quotes. It does not substitute the value of variable dollar $user. Switch back to our slides. Backslash removes the special meaning from a single character. It is used as an escape character in bash. Switch to the terminal. Now type echo space within double quotes username is backslash dollar user in capital. Since we have given double quotes, we expect the echo command to display the username. Let's try this command. Press enter. The output is username is dollar user. In this example, the backslash removes the special meaning of dollar symbol. Dollar user is just treated as a string without any special functionality. This brings us to the end of this tutorial. Switch back to our slides. Let us summarize. In this tutorial, we learnt command line arguments, functionality of double quote, single quote and backslash. Watch the video available at the link shown below. It summarizes the spoken tutorial project. If you do not have good bandwidth, you can download and watch it. The Spoken Tutorial Project team conducts workshops using Spoken Tutorials. 
Give certificates to those who pass an online test. For more details, please write to contact at spoken-tutorial.org. Spoken Tutorial Project is a part of the Talk to a Teacher Project. It is supported by the National Mission on Education through ICT, MHRD, Government of India. More information on this mission is available at the link shown below. The script has been contributed by FOSI and Spoken Tutorial team. And this is Ashwini Patil from IIT Bombay signing off. Thank you for joining.